afternoon. David Ballard from East Coast Honda here in Myrtle Beach. I've got behind me here the 2018 Honda HRV EX. Just want to make it this quick video and show you guys some of the awesome features that this car has. We're gonna open up the back hatch. We'll put our hand under here. Releases the mechanism. We we'll open up the back. Lots of cargo room. One of the really cool things about the HRV is the deck height is nice and level. So when you're actually, you know, bending down, you can just grab whatever it is from the cart or from you know whatever it is you're grabbing, and you just rest that in there. There's no up and down or length and so it causes a lot of stress on the back when you have something that's a little higher up because uh, you have to lift up and go up and so this helps a lot with people who are looking for something that's a little easier to load in and out of um, get your back headrest here push down those go all the way down you just push the release button and those go down push on your tab here push your seats forward and there we go And of course down here you've got your spare tire, nested under there, full size tire, not as big as the rest of your tires but it keeps the car level and, and even with the rest of the car. Door, As you can tell there is no physical door handle here, it's actually nested into the side of the door here, so you give it a pull, door opens up nice and wide, and for our, the video we just took. We left the seats down, grab those, lift them back up. Now, one of the really cool things is what we just did, that was configuration number one. So I'm gonna pull up on here and try to grab this seat with my phone in my hand. There we go. So this is what we call magic seat configuration. Push that bar down. Now you have full access to the back floorboard of the car here. Um, makes things a lot easier buy a big plant something from the store that requires you not to be able to lay it down but you need to stand it up this is an awesome feature now here's the fun stuff so this is your driver's seat everything is nicely accessible you've got your audio knobs here your display menu so you can actually change what it is you're looking at you've got your answer and call and hang up buttons and voice functionality of course you have your cruise control here and of course you have an awesome display here, uh, digital gas gauge, instant miles per gallon meter, of course you got your miles, and you can also change what this says, so if you press the button up here you can actually get the range, shows you how many miles you have till empty, your average fuel economy, on your next one, trip A, trip B, and then you also have your service reminder, so this will show you any time a service comes up what you need to actually be doing to your car also you have your oil percentage that's an accurate meter it measures the velocity of the oil so it helps you keep up on top of your oil changes and of course we're back to where we started now the ex model comes with paddle shifters which if you wanted to use those you know you can get a little sporty if you needed to get going quicker in traffic one of the really cool things about the ex is if you push on your right blinker here this enables Honda Lane Watch, so you can actually see what's going on on the right side of your car. That camera is fixated over here in this mirror on the bottom. So really awesome feature, um, helps out a lot. Your blind side is your right side, so this camera helps contribute to the prevention of accidents on the highway. Um, of course, we have a standard push to start here. Um, this is embezzled in chrome, nice and red, so it's very easy to see at night, it illuminates. All of your air conditioning controls and heated seat functionality is all to the touch so if you actually press on these buttons it actually enables whatever it is you needed to do. If you need to increase your dual time dual, dual excuse me dual climate control um, 
not dual climate control, but your single climate control. You can just enable up and enable down. You can also increase your volume of your air, and then you can change how that air comes out. And then you've got your front and rear and sided, side mirror defrosters. Um, no exterior, no, no vents on the sides. Everything is in this one, this single piece here. You can actually adjust these up and down side to side. Um, really helps out with the airflow. Uh, I find that these vents are really neat. Um, next, we've got your shifter here. Nice and easy. Everything illuminates each gear you go into. Uh, a lot of the time, sometimes people are like, oh, which gear am I in? Well, it's nice and easy to see. You can see that orange ambient light. Even in this really bright South Carolina weather, you can easily see that. Next thing we'll go into is I'm going to put my seatbelt on real quick. This is probably my absolute favorite feature. With the seatbelt on, we put the car into drive, and we press brake hold. Brake hold is an automatic brake hold functionality. So when you turn that feature on, you'll look up here, it'll say brake hold, and then the big word, it'll say hold. With my foot on the brake currently, take my foot off, and we're not moving. This helps with driver fatigue and traffic stop and go. If your foot was to slip off uh, while you're behind somebody and you're too close to the bumper, this is going to help prevent an accident. Um, real big. A lot of casualties um, happen in uh, stop and go traffic with your foot slipping off the brake. Uh, you drop something on the floor and your attention is taken away from the, from the road ahead of you, which is uh, where we all should keep our eyes at, right? Um, so this helps a lot, and this also just helps with just normal, normal driving. You know, if you stop to a stop sign and you need to reach in the back and and see what's going on you know you can kind of just look back behind you and know that your foot's not going to slip off that brake um, now we'll go on move on to our touch screen here nice and easy to navigate lots of different audio sources of course you have your standard FM AM you have a CD player currently and then of course you can play music through your old iPod um, any type of portable music player that you might have that's not an iPod iPod has its own functionality and then this one here is actually for everything else then you can actually mirror your Pandora app or your aha app which those are both music streaming services or if you have something like Spotify Amazon music uh, any other music source that's not listed on here you just use the Bluetooth functionality down here um, and then of course the next one which I think is really cool is HDMI you can actually plug up an HDMI cord into your phone and with the car in park you can see what's going on up here so you can actually mirror your your video to the actual screen helps out when you're sitting and waiting for two or three hours for somebody to come out of the doctor's office or um, you're in the school line waiting to pick up your kids um, real nice you can just set your phone down and watch the video on the screen up front ahead of you um, so there's a couple other features but I don't want to keep this video too much longer I appreciate you guys for looking at my video and hopefully I'll see you soon again David Ballard over here at East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach South Carolina